Hey there and welcome to my channel. Today we are home with a sick baby and I thought I would take you along with me. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson. I love to do all things homemaking. I'd love it if you would subscribe and if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's get through this very long day together. It was a perfect day to be home because my weekly hungry root delivery came and I absolutely love this. You guys know I share this on my channel. I've had, I've been using hungry root for probably about a year and a half now. They are an online grocery store that make it easy for you to eat healthy. You tell them a little bit about yourself, um, take a very short quiz and then hungry root recommends fresh groceries, simple recipes tailored to your um, style of eating. They can accommodate gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, vegetarian. They have over 2000 recipes to discover. My favorite is their bean salad. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, and their chipotle quesadilla is like my go-to. Their um, recipes are super easy to follow. It's less food waste and they will send you personalized weekly deliveries for groceries, 10 minute recipes. I love that they accommodate both my breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks in between. It's delivered right to my doorstep and the prices are unbeatable. So a day like today when I have so much going on, this is a great way for me to not have to do all of the meal prepping. I ended up making the kids these beautiful lemon roasted chicken breasts. I did the green beans and these really good fried potatoes. They kind of come out like hash. They were so good. The house already smells amazing. This only took me 15 minutes and I didn't have to prep anything. It just came right out. I was able to serve it to the kids and they loved it. If you guys are looking to kind of help fill in the gaps of your week with really healthy food, we are a family of six and I let Hungry Root know exactly who I'm shopping for and they send me all kinds of lovely things. And unlike many other grocery delivery companies, they allow you to personalize and customize all the recommendations. They have healthy 10 minute recipes. It makes it so much easier to meal prep for the week. Fully sized items too, which is so important and fresh selections that they change up all the time. They have healthy snacks. It ships right to you on your schedule. It is whole and trusted ingredients and it is less food waste. If you guys wanna join me and check out Hungry Root, you guys will not be disappointed. The first 100 people to use my promotion code, which is always linked down below, Lauren40, will get 40% off their first order of Hungry Root. Link will be provided at the very top. And thank you to Hungry Root for continuing to support my channel as well as the health of my family. We're gonna start this day by giving my baby a bath. He is not feeling good today, so I wanted to start him off with a nice calm bath. I don't know if you guys have seen, this is my new bathtub. This thing is amazing. It has red light therapy. It also has blue light therapy in it. The bathtub actually holds the temperature, which I love. I also put a TV on the wall, so we're gonna put a little bit of cartoons on here just to calm him down, and we're gonna do a nice bath. If you guys wanna check out this bath, I will have it linked down below. It is my favorite. Okay, guys. It is, let's see, 10.30, today has gone off the rails. Um, I had like a vision, I was actually supposed to be at work, but I've got two kids homesick and I have a sinus infection. I need to clean this room. This is like, this is not good. I also need to put all this stuff away. And then on this rack, I need to start adding all the Christmas events that we have. Um, I gotta clean my room. Um, out here this morning I woke up early and wasn't planning to film today, but since I'm home, I thought I would film with you guys. I started making some, um, chicken broth for my throat and that's ready to come out. I'm going to take the shredded chicken and make barbecue, um, chicken, uh, like burgers tonight for the kids. I feel like there's so much more broth in here. I, I might have cooked it too long, but whatever. I gotta put this stuff away. I gotta clean this up. Kitchen's kind of a mess from this morning. I'm gonna make, I literally put ice in here and then left to go pick up my son. So what I've been doing pretty much every day is I love these coconut water. I do this with a lime. Refrigerator's back to being a disaster. Um, I need to clean this out too today. That would be nice. And then I just add some water, which I already got. So we're gonna do that. And then I'll show you what my new updated to-do list is now that I am for the day. Let's make this first. 
Ooh, you got some butter over here. Is that yours? Yeah. What are you going to make today? Uh, I don't know. You want to do chocolate chip cookies or? Cake. You want to make a cake? Maybe. We can make something for Emma. Yesterday was her birthday. That's very sweet. Okay, so I put two drops of the coconut stuff in there. I've got a whole lime and some ice. I don't usually use Stanley cups. These are actually my kids, but I couldn't find my favorite water cup, so we're going to use Charlotte's. Thanks so much, Charlotte, for letting me use your cup. To make chicken broth, I typically just put one whole chicken with some water in a large pot. I'll add some onions and celery and carrots, so like a maripois, but um, I actually don't keep all of it. I just take the chicken out and throw the rest out. So if you're going to make like a homemade chicken noodle soup, I highly recommend doing two sets. So later I ended up cutting it up for the kids because... I'm going to make them chicken noodle soup as well. So for these, I just get these glass uh, bottles from Amazon, get a BPA, like really clean one. That way it also doesn't smell. So you can put smoothies in here in the summer. But during the winter, I really, really like bone broth. So I use um, I use these for that. And then I just drink them throughout the day. You usually heat them up in a like a coffee cup. So I'm just going to get those ready to go, set aside. And I couldn't help myself. I had to make a glass of it because it's just so good. Tell me in the comments down below, do you drink bone broth? Are you into that? I do the Al Venice. I always have it linked below, but I love their bone broth um, cleanses are amazing. But if you do, definitely check those out. You know when we put the hair up it means it's time to do some deep cleaning so I thought I would go through here I'm actually gonna run my Robo Rock I love the mop and vac um, Robo Rock I'll link it down below as well if you guys want to pick that up this year it's a great investment I literally love how it cleans these floors I love not having the tile floors anymore because a Robo Rock doesn't really like tile but it loves the hardwood so I wanted to do a nice deep clean get everything kind of put away it is after Christmas and at this time when I'm doing this voiceover and I have to tell you it felt really good to take all of the Christmas decorations down. I actually ended up leaving town for a week to go to a grief um, wellness center in Arizona that um, it's called Miraval but it's a really wonderful place if you have anything going on. I met lots of wonderful women there uh, many of which were going through divorces and um, some of which had just lost their uh, significant others or um, a family member as well. So it was a really wonderful place to not only do some time by myself to kind of grieve the loss of my mom, but also um, remember there's a community of people out there. I felt so alone and isolated. You know, I don't have a lot of friends that have lost their parents before. So um, it was really lovely to to connect with them, but also do some grief counseling. I also did a psychic reading there and I got to talk to my mom, which was wild. And um, she's in the urn over here. I, I, I said something in a video previously. She's over there to the right in that Italian urn, but um, she loves to be in the kitchen. <laughs> I know I sound like a crazy person. Well, I am a crazy person, but 
So um, I, we, when we did the cookies, I don't typically do cookie making with them. My mom always did that with my kids. But I, I saw a bunch of comments like, I didn't see her mom there. I thought her mom died. She it, she did pass away, but um, she's in the urn. <laughs> and I, I drag her around from room to room. And when she came over, she's like, you take me into all the rooms with you. You're always talking to me. Keep talking to me. I, how does, how it has to be that, that my mom had come over in this reading because this woman would have no idea that I like sometimes my, I put my mom's ring on and I sit in my closet and I cry. And she kept saying like, put my, every time you put my ring on, it's, um, I'm with you. And so it was a really cathartic experience. It was really hard to leave my family, but I needed to take the time to grieve that loss because I work so much. It's so hard for me to make time for self healing and self care and all that. But while I was gone, my husband hired a team and they came in and actually undecorated everything so I didn't have to worry about it. And it was um, sad because you guys know I love to do all that, but sometimes you got to just take the help and put yourself first. So that was um, kind of how I ended the new year, but um, this was the last video I have of all of our decor and it's so beautiful. I have so many things that are going to change in this house this year, but I can't wait to get it all back out next year. I think I'm going to decorate a little earlier. I felt like I decorated a little late this year, but I just love Christmas. Have you guys taken down your Christmas decorations yet? Okay, so it is now almost noon. It might even be noon. It is 11.59. And I just finished my chicken broth, all that goodness in there. My throat feels so much better. Although I am starting antibiotics today. These have cooled down enough for me to cap and to put in the refrigerator after I clean it out. I had to tidy up the living room. I'm kind of, like I love this vibe, but I'm also thinking of taking it down and putting up a real garland because our house does not smell like Christmas. So we might do that later today. It's on my to-do list. And then I'll repurpose this. I was gonna use my ladder, this one, for our new bathroom. I just thought it would look so beautiful with like a towel or a robe hung over it. And then add these to the garland that will go up here. And then these put on the front porch. I think will be beautiful. They are actually indoor outdoor. Maybe throw that by the front door, I don't know. But everything is very festive in here. I'm Christmassy and happy. And then over here, I just clean this up, get it ready for dinner tonight. Um, we are loving these chairs. It's just so much more comfortable for the family with these uh, six chairs. They're just, they're not physically comfortable to sit on, but they are doing the job. Still loving these beautiful, um, Oh my god, the chickens are out. Um, bar stools. I wonder if they're over here. They usually like, look at you, a salty girl. All right, we'll go out and say hi to the chickens. I know you guys haven't seen them in a while, but there's a couple over there. I see you, Coco Me. So cute. Um, <clears throat> what else do we have today? Fireplace is going. So nice and cozy over here. And then, um, I just moved this bench here because it was kind of overcrowding. <clears throat> it was kind of crowding over there, but I, I did like it. I could not find my tree skirts and I don't want to buy new ones, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. I got to move this stuff to the uh, garage and then I kind of want to tidy up in here. It's not terrible. I'm thinking of putting Santa outside. Let me do our decorating. And this all looks good. We still have the mirror over there. A lot of trees. And what else? I think that's about it. I just need to tidy up like little things like this. And kids are out of school last day Thursday. So it would be fantastic if I could um, find a place for all their shoes and stuff. Um, sorry, I was looking at the mail person seeing if they were dropping anything off. Yeah, so that's what we have. We're gonna head into my room, get that cleaned up. I 
There's one of the kids' Christmas performance dresses. They have two performances this year. So later today we are gonna get all of that up so I don't kind of stress out the, the week of. And I have not put up my nativity yet because we couldn't find it. And we found it. The other day I went to storage to get stuff for the winery and I found it. So we're gonna put that up today too. picking out some spring decor for this room and just kind of make it a little bit more finished. Now that the floors are in, I have some really fun ideas for this space. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you like to see home decor and I do all seasons. So not just Christmas, I do every single season, even the not seasons I do like things like St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day. Like I decorate for everything. But for this area, I really needed to get my clothes put away. I did notice that since I moved my closet into the new closet that um, I have way too many clothes. So I'm going to be doing a video just decluttering. I'm also going to be changing my style. I feel like so much of my style is just residual clothes I've had for years. And I really, really, really want to have a more classic, um, professional, really tailored style. So I am going to be going through here and getting rid of a ton of this stuff um, and just selling it on Poshmark and really trying to elevate my style to be um, just again like really classic Ralph Lauren tailored beautiful and just more age appropriate for me as I am about to turn 40. Every time I come in here and I have these projects it really helps me to understand how this room needs to function and like workout things and jammies. I need more space for those, which if you had asked me before, I would say, oh, I probably don't need that, but um, I know I do now. The glass for the shower is coming this week, so then this room will be done, just minor things. We get a nice piece of art for here and potentially like a really small table. I don't know about you if you have small kids or um, maybe your kids are grown, but. I'm getting to the phase where my kids are almost growing out of having little things like this. And I just, I don't know what it is, but I just love coming into my bathroom and seeing their fun. Put all my husband's clothes here so he can put them away because I don't, I haven't been in his closet enough to kind of know where he wants things and frankly he can do it himself. I, I'm tired, <laughs> I'm not feeling my best. Um, I need to dry this out, but we'll do that in a little bit. And then here, we're slowly starting to put the outfits we need for all the Christmas events we have. And then accessories. I have two little bows for the girls I need to find and then put here so I don't stress. Shoes will go down there. So that will keep my head screwed on during the holidays. And then here's the bedroom, nice and clean. Starting to pile garbage up here. And then this room, a kitten. Hi, Tuna. Um, this room's looking good, too. Pretty clean. Hi. Did you eat? Did you eat your food? Mm hmm. Say hello. What a sweet girl. I'm not going to put you outside. You can stay and play. And then over here, I was just sitting down having some water. Everything's nice and clean. Cluttered with Christmas, but clean. And I was going through my list and checking things off I'm done with. I've got to head out and pick out up the kids. I don't think I'm going to get to the garland I really wanted to put here. And my husband just got home and he is going to be hanging some Christmas lights, which will be another video because I have to leave. But I'll show you where, where we are. I just have some little things out here that we're going to move around. 
So my vision is we're going to put two trees up, <clears throat> same two trees that have always been here. We'll put here and there. And then the bells I'm thinking are going to go in here. I might hang some garland. I got some garland for around the door. Same ones I have inside. These are from um, Balsam Hill. And then I also got the Balsam Hill 10 foot tree. You guys remember last year we put that giant tree up and the whole top fell off. Um, so I was really excited when I saw ready in five minutes. So we are gonna do that. And then I did some of this mesh ribbon. We're gonna kind of tuck around the bushes here. Let me see if I can show you. He kind of has everything staged up. But so, so like it'll go up there. And then I was thinking of adding a wreath here and a wreath there. That might be cute. I'm not sure. And then a bunch of bows. And then I also got some of these. That would be kind of fun. And I got these. So, yeah, we will, oh, and I got that too, which is super cute. Not sure we're going to do that either, but anyway, I'll take you guys along that journey another day because I got to go pick the kids up. Okay, kids just got home. The next project I had to do today was measure this area and this area. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do here, but I figured we could do a little measurement together. I also think we're gonna move the bus to go right here, just because it's a little bit safer, but I'll show you guys kind of the idea of what I think I wanna put in here. So this is two feet by four and gonna have all of our um I was gonna build something in but then I changed my mind because eventually maybe I'll put a nice settee here but right now I really need the storage to do that and then this one is the same width it's just a foot depth so we got measure twice cut once we got two feet on this side one feet on that side a foot sorry I wasn't able to find what I was looking for. I'm looking for a French antique style kind of sideboard for that area. Was unable to find it. I did find one I liked, but the reviews were not very good. So I ended up passing. I still haven't found anything, but I wanted to get started on dinner. So I already have the chicken ready to go. That's what I boiled this morning. And then I thought I would make a really delicious barbecue chicken sandwich with some baked beans and a little slaw. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to add the chicken back to a pot. We're going to throw in some barbecue sauce. This literally took me five minutes. It was so easy. I always like to add a little bit of chicken broth to this just to kind of bring the flavor and the richness and the moisture back. I always feel like dried chicken is the worst, but, um, and then for the slaw, I'm just going to make a really quick slaw. This is super easy. You just use a little bit of mayonnaise or sour cream. You can use some vinegar. I also use some celery seeds. That kind of like is what, or celery salt too. You could use either kind of gives it that great flavor. And then we're going to mix all that up and season it. And then I am going to add it to a brioche bun. I always get these brioche bun buns from, um, Whole Foods. I don't know if you guys have had them before, but they are so fluffy and delicious. I wish I could make my own bread. I just don't think I have the patience for it right now. Um, but if I could make my own brioche and bread and things like that, like if I, <laughs> if I had more time on my hands, I would love to do that because I just think brioche is so yummy and buttery. Probably not the healthiest of breads, but I mean like what bread is really healthy. So we're going to whip this all up and then I'm going to get dinner on the table.
Here is how dinner turned out. It was super yummy, super easy to make. Plus I had all that bonus broth I got to drink all week. I am starting to feel better and I cannot wait to share so much with you guys in the new year. I will be doing a lot of home DIY projects this year, a lot of routine schedules with you guys this year. I will be doing all kinds of content that is very specific to doing our best to live a full healthy life and be strong moms here with this community. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one real soon. Bye.